What's up? Welcome back to Church Media Pro. Today I'm going to talk Resi and how to set a cue point in Resi after an event and download it from that spot so that you can take your clips and turn them into a social media assets or you can take the audio for a podcast or whatever you need to do for your ministry after your weekend service. So stick around. Welcome back to Church Media Pro. My name is Aaron Ward and on this channel we talk about all things Church Media Pro and today I want to talk to you about Resi. If you're not using Resi, you're missing out on one of the best live stream uh, uh, content producers or, or streaming devices. Um, it, it comes with an encoder. You have to buy the encoder. You get the service. It's uh, it, it can be a little pricey, but it's entirely worth it, guys. I've gone through several different iterations of live stream uh, capabilities, whether we uh, use a computer, a hard uh, computer encoder, a hardware encoder, and in this case, Resi is both a hardware encoder and it encodes to the cloud, so it's sort of in software as well, and so that you can pull down, it records things for you, you can pull down previous messages, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So I want to jump right into this, but first, a quick word from our sponsor, guys. This video is brought to you by Friedrich's Coffee Roasters. And they are a uh, artisanal roaster in the uh, Des Moines, Iowa area. They're a client of mine. So if you want to support this channel, go over to FriedrichsCoffee.com and order yourself a 12 ounce bag of roasted to order, meaning it is roasted the same day that it ships out to you. So if you roast, if you if you order coffee at Friedrichs, guys, it does not you know get grabbed off a shelf. It is literally taken from green bean to the roaster, roasted that day and shipped out in the same day and then you get it if, if, you, if you're on the coast it's up to three days but if you're in the midwest you can get it overnighted to you and it's fantastic coffee guys i drink it myself all the time they provide our church with amazing espresso beans we have an espresso uh, machine in our church and, and it's just one of our fantastic uh, relationships that we have in our church in fact the the owner and his wife are great uh, you know they go to our church as well so uh, if you want to support me you want to support them that'd be fantastic go over to freejuicecoffee.com and use free ship USA the code at checkout that's f r e e uh, s h i p u s a at checkout to get free shipping in uh, to the continental United States guys um, so anyway let's look at my screen here enough of that shilling let's go and this is resi so this is control.resi.io I've logged in and what I've done when when you come up to this you usually see the dashboard right so so a typical uh, use case is to you know schedule an event so you can go to scheduling you can find your you know your weekend service or you can schedule a special event hit the schedule button and go through that process most people know how to do that but one thing I found in uh, the um, in general um, there's not a lot of video content for Resi there's plenty of tutorial type uh, you know written comments and stuff like that that are typed out in their great website they have great support you can call them anytime and it's fantastic support guys if you're on if you're using them as a service but I wanted to give you some video content to hopefully save you time and uh, just to uh, to pay it forward guys you guys um, I've, I've figured out about or learned about Resi from other youtubers and I just want to continue to give them support so what I want to show you today is how to grab content that you've already recorded um, set a, uh, a an endpoint for your your uh, for your video so that you can just download the message so often you know we're we're, we're streaming on YouTube and Facebook from the worship set in the beginning all the way to the the final song and um, on a regular basis I uh, I want to download for a podcast we turn our turn our weekend services into podcasts every week and we also use our weekend service videos for content during the week so we want to be able to download that um, instead of downloading a huge file on YouTube I want to go straight to Resi download just the message portion so that I'm not dealing with large files and I'm um, getting a little bit more efficient with how that works. And then also, I want to. Um, I have seen uh, that the in, that the, the the download process can be actually faster um, than than downloading from YouTube. So that's one example or one one uh, plus to Resi as well. That's not always the case. I understand, but uh, for me so far, I think I've saved myself you know five ten minutes here and there um, downloading from Resi. So. To find this, go to your events tab 
guys, and then find the service. These are the most uh, recent services. Usually goes back, you know, a couple a couple weeks, which is nice, or a couple events. Get, you know, uh, five to six to seven services up here. I think it's seven total is what you see. Um, I do believe there's a way to see further back, but um, this is what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to click on one of these tabs. I'm going to go to the 8.30 a.m. service from our weekend. I'm going to hit the watch button here, and then I'm going to scroll forward to where I think the message is. And I've already done this on a different one, so I could just go reference it, but I'm going to actually show you the process here. So I'm going to scroll forward, find our um, the beginning. This is our worship set still. Um, we do start the encoder pretty early, so not surprised that I'm already, you know, 57 minutes in. I'm still not even to the message yet, but should be at the end of this song here. So I'm, the one thing I would like to see is a larger uh, screen, and I don't think there's a way to enlarge this to get a uh, finer, you know, the, the there's not a lot of fine um, detail in the editor, so you're kind of uh, pecking and hunting and pecking, if you will. So I'm gonna, oh, oh, I caught it, perfect. So that was, that was really great. I was able to catch it right at the end of the last notes of the song, and what I'm gonna do here is add Q, which I'm gonna move my let me move my face out of the way here. Um, pop over to my streaming software, move my face out of the way. All right, so I can um, add a Q here, and then it's gonna take the timestamp from the position where the cursor is or the the uh, playhead is at. So I'm gonna say message. Now it's Mesa. Uh, create the Q, and then I'm gonna hit download and. You know, you'd think that it would just automatically download, right? But the cool thing is with Resi, you actually get a couple of, um, of options here. You can download it um, at the encoder uh, level here. They don't give you a lot of options. I'm kind of surprised that there's not. There's, there's fields there, but not options there. But then um, you can actually click here and go to the queue point, which is what I really wanted to show you today. So, um, so, and then um, we can go through the end of the event. That's totally cool. So, cause the message goes to basically the end. So let's down this, load this MP4. It doesn't give you the option to uh, to do just audio. Um, you know, I've, I've used a 4K video downloader typically to get things off of YouTube. Um, that will give you the, the option to just download the audio. But in this case, we'll just do the video as well. Since we're gonna do some, um, some social media content anyway, and then this will download. So uh, this file size um, could be pretty big. And so I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna come back. When this is done, I'll show you how big the file size was and how long it took me to download as well. But um, I just wanted to give a quick tip today to show you how easy it is to download your services from Resi in the exact same uh, you know file format that you uploaded it in. So uh, two channel 128 kilobytes is, is, was our audio settings and then uh, 1920 by 1080 at 59 um, or 60 frames per second um, and uh, six me megabytes per second. So um, whatever went up to YouTube anyway is gonna come down the same um, in, uh, in, in Resi's backend here. So when this is done, I'm gonna show you the file, uh, you know, how big it is and all that stuff so you can see for yourself how, how and how long it took as well. So until then, um, I'll just cut the video for now and we'll come back in a second. All right, we're back. So it only took about five minutes to download the entire uh, message from the video. That's that's half the amount of time it takes just to download an MP3 from from a 4K video downloader when I'm ripping it from YouTube. So I'm 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 saving time. I am not saving space, however, because the the file is actually quite big at uh, just over, it's like a two and a half gigabytes. So um, quite a large file. I won't be holding onto this file. Obviously Resi's got it stored for me. So I can go back and if it's only gonna take me five minutes to download it again, I'm not gonna keep it on my hard drive, right? So I'm gonna move this over to Premiere. I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna do the podcast. I'm going to create some content from it. But in general guys, um, I would say uh, grabbing your uh, media from Resi, being able to set a uh, a a cue point is is just fantastic, and then um, so that you can uh, not have to scrub through and download extra video. Like I mean, I'm an hour into the video and I and I haven't gotten the message yet. That would give me a, a file size that's almost double 
you know, considering the, the length of the video is uh, two, two hours and 14 minutes. In fact, it's got a whole bunch of stuff going in from our 8.30 into our uh, 10.30 service. So I um, will be end, uh, end up cutting that as well. I should have put a cue on the back end um, just, to, just to save me even more time, to be honest with you, in, in file size. But um, I will say that it was faster than ripping from YouTube and or downloading directly from YouTube and then um, it's so much easier to just download a portion of this. Um, I wish uh, YouTube gave this you, you this functionality where you could, you know, download from from uh, you can you can set endpoints, guys. I, I'll, I'll maybe make a quick video about that at some point in the future too. But um, you can't download from those endpoints. You have to download the entire video. So. Um, this is fantastic. Resi is a game changer, guys, and if you're not using it, I highly recommend it. And these are just some of the functionalities that you can use in Resi. Um, I'll be giving you more. If you have some comments about what you'd like to see in the future, especially regarding Resi, guys, I would love to show you those things. Um, maybe even the setup or the hardware or whatever it is. Um, we'll be uh, creating multiple cam uh, campuses in the future and I'll be uh, integrating more Resi systems. Maybe I can talk a little bit about that in the future, but uh, let me know what you're, what you're interested in as far as live stream in the comments, guys. I'd love to uh, hear what you have to say and, and how you're using Resi as well. So um, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see us next time. Um, again, this video is brought to you by Friedrich's Coffee. Um, head over to FriedrichsCoffee.com and get yourself a 12 ounce bag of roasted to order uh, coffee. I know most of you guys, most of you uh, church tech guys um, are, are coffee lovers. So do me a favor and run over there now and pick yourself up some coffee. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, God bless you.